Rob from Robson Running. Today we're just about to head off to our uh, next ultra. Uh, so I'm driving down to Newbury. Um, we're staying in a, uh, just a little hotel there, uh, ready for the ultra, which is starts in uh, Eve Lincoln Holt, just down the road, a 10 minutes drive from the hotel. So I'm going to get on the road now and then I'll chat to you when we get to the other end. So just arrived at Newbury, uh, a place called Top Hill, which is just off um, the Newbury Bypass, I think it is. Um, so I'm just standing in the travel lodge tonight. Um, going to get everything out of the car and, uh, and checked in, and then uh, be back with you soon. Hi guys, right, I'm in my room now, just got in here, checked in, the hotel. Um, and I just thought I'd tell you what... I have to do, or I tend to do every time I um, come to one of these races and you know I'm away from home and all the things that you've got to think about and take with you. So I know I've done um, like a kit review or a kit list of what I'm taking prior to a race, I did that for my last race uh, from Pedder's Way, but I, uh, it's probably good just to show you exactly what you have to do when you're, when you're going away to these races and the sorts of things you've got to get ready and think about um, before. Um, during and after the race, so uh, I'm sure if you can uh, see behind me here. Got clothes the night before. We've got the race vest. In the race vest, you've got it's my wash bag. You've got your uh, BB bag, etc. You've got battery pack. Uh, you've got a headlamp that you're going to need. I to carry with me a. Um, GPS device as well, so people can track me. You've got your uh, first aid kit and maybe some extra bits there that I take, ibuprofen just in case. Um, things for afterwards, you've got <coughs> recovery camera, I've got here deep heat, um, free spray just in case I get an injury. And then I've got all the clothes, so you've got <coughs> uh, waterproofs, socks, underwear. Um, long sleeve tops, up the jackets to go to the top of that as well because the weather's a bit strange at the moment. It's really cold in the morning and then in the evening it's, um, you know, sorry, in lunchtime it warms up a bit. A uh, couple of pairs of shorts, you've got a dry bag there to go inside my brace vest. Um, you've got the hydration vest with the two, uh, sorry, hydration bladder with the two bottles and the cup. It's mandatory to take the cup. Um, got a buff there, the hat that I take for the sun. I've got a warm hat, I've got gloves as well, then I've got drop bag over here, um, and things that you like, such as things like tape that you've got to put on the drop, drop bag so that you can write your name on it and your number, um, scissors to cut the tape with, all these types of things that you have to remember. And then we go on to this, this side here, <coughs> we've got the nutrition, so I won't use all of this nutrition, but I'll use a fair chunk of it, and you need to take a mixture, so I've got tailwind, Got the um, the tablets for the um, for the water as well for my electrolytes. A mixture of energy bars, torque gels that I use, that which are vegan, um, baked bars, things like that, dried fruit, fruit mix, naked bars, etc. And then you've got stuff kind of pre-race as well, so banana and porridge to go bar for breakfast. I tend to have 
like some Lucasay Sport before I leave, uh, before I go, one for afterwards, just water to drink uh, before the race. Um, this is the water for my hydration vest, protein bars for after the race. So as you can see, there's quite a lot that goes on. Uh, hopefully that came across in the, the video there. So there's plenty of things to think about. Also not forgetting the race number and the pins for the race number to pin it to your clothes as well. So uh, yeah, just thought I'd uh, quickly go through that. Um, I'm gonna carry on getting some bits and pieces ready and then I'm gonna head out and see what I can find uh, to have for dinner this evening. Another thing you've got to think about where you're gonna eat the night before. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go off and do that and I'll catch up with you all soon. Testway 50. Just clearing up for the start now, done registration, done bag drop. So uh, I'll update you on the river. Hi right, guys, just a quick update. So, uh, past the first checkpoint, it's about 11 miles now. Uh, things are all okay at the moment, so uh, 
lovely course, very hilly in the first 11 miles, but should flatten out. Catch up later. Uh, quick update, just on checkpoint number two, 17 miles in, and uh, I think the course flattens out a bit now, although you wouldn't think it by looking at it at the moment, it's a big deal in distance, but uh, yeah, pushing on. Hi guys, <coughs> quick update. Just done past the third checkpoint, 28 miles in. And uh, yeah, not doing too badly. So uh, a few bits and pieces hurt, but uh, otherwise, pretty good. But I'm gonna crack on and uh, update you at the next checkpoint. Hi guys, quick update. So just past checkpoint number four, there's one more to go. We've just done 39 miles. So about 11 and a half miles left. Uh, we're ready to finish now, legs are aching, but yeah, we're nearly 